Hello friends, in today's video we are going to see what do you mean by single slope ADC, its block diagram, operation and circuit diagram. So let's begin with the topic. In case of signal, the information is carried either in the analog or digital format. The digital systems are more accurate and therefore they are widely used in the various application. But the signals which are available are not required always to be in the digital format. The signals like temperature, pressure, force are available in the analog format. That means they are continuously changing with respect to time. Therefore in that case, it is very much important to convert the signal into digital format. Because the digital signals are easy to store, easy to process and easy to transmit. In case of analog signal, the analog signals are very much difficult to store, transmit and process. Because during transmission, the noise may affect the signal and produces error in the output. So in order to overcome this drawback, the digital signals are used. And for that purpose, the signals are get converted into digital format by using a data converter which is called as analog to digital converters. The various types of digital converters are available and they are single slope ADC, successive approximation ADC, dual slope ADC, flash type ADC and servo type ADC. Out of this, we are going to see the first type that is nothing but the single slope ADC. The single slope ADC is also called as single ramp ADC or single slope integrating ADC. It is called as single slope integrating ADC because in this case the reference voltage or the reference signal is converted into integration at the output during the conversion time. So this type of ADC are basically used for producing the ramp voltage. Now let's have a look of the block diagram of single slope ramp or single slope ADC. Basically these type of ADC are used to convert the reference signal with the unknown signal. So here we can say it is used to convert or it is used to compare Vx with Va. The time required for conversion of the signal is called as conversion time. If the conversion time is less, that indicates that the speed of operation of ADC is very much higher and resolution of the system also get high. So this type of ADC uses comparator, clock oscillator, gate that is AND gate, RAM generator control and decade counter. Now let's have a look of the block diagram and understand the block diagram. The block diagram of the system consists of counter with the display which is used to display the output result. The control box is present in the diagram which is used for resetting the RAM generator as well as to the counter. The output of the RAM generator is also applied as one of the input to comparator. The comparator are basically used to compare the two signals and the output of the comparator is nothing but the voltage VC. The VC is acts as one of the input to control for producing the strobe signal. The output of the VC that means the output of the comparator is also applied to the gate that is AND gate and output of the gate is acts as a clock signal to the counter. In case of single ramp ADC the time required for reference voltage to increase to the value of unknown voltage is directly proportional to the magnitude of the unknown voltage and it is measured by using counter with display. Now let's understand the working of single slope ADC. Here the manual reset is placed in order to reset the RAM generator as well as to the counter. As output of the RAM generator is acts as one of the input to VAX, therefore when the reset is placed we can say VAX is now less than VA. Therefore output of the comparator becomes high, so VC becomes 1. This high output is acts as one of the input to the gate and the gate used here is the AND gate. So when VC is equals to 1, the output of the AND gate becomes 1 that enables the clock signal. This clock signal is acts as an input to the counter with display and therefore counter gets count up and increases linearly. Now from the graph we, can, we will come to know that the output of the counter that means that this VAX ramp voltage is increases till it reaches to the value of unknown voltage that is VA. So at T is equals to T1 the ramp voltage is equals to VA and this time is now directly proportional to the magnitude of VA. During this time the output of the count comparator is remain high. At T is equals to T1 the output of the comparator goes low because when VAX try to increase more than VA the output of the comparator goes low. So now in this case 
the output of the comparator becomes low that means vc is equal to 0 and that will disable the clock signal because the input applied to the AND gate becomes 0 and because of that the clock signal is get disabled. As clock is get disabled, the clock is applied to the counter and display circuit. Therefore, the counter will further stop counting. Now, the VC is also applied to the control input signal so that the strobe signal is get produced and that indicates to the A to D converter that the conversion process is get complete. So, if we look at the graph properly, then we will come to know that in the graph, during the conversion type, the output of the comparator is high. After that, at t is equal to t1, the comparator output goes low, which produces a strobe signal for indicating A to D converter that the conversion process is get completed. And at the same time, that means at t is equal to t1, the reset pulse is get produced. And further, the again single slope is get produced. That means further, the same process of operation takes place. So this is what about the A to D converter operates. Now let's find out the advantages and disadvantages of the same circuit. The advantages of the circuit is that it produces linear voltage with respect to time and frequency and its output voltage is also get unaffected by sudden change in the input signal. But besides of these advantages, the circuit provide many disadvantages. The first disadvantage that it cannot provide the stable output. The output of the single slope ADC is get easily affected by change in temperature, change in the component value and therefore this produces error in the output. The second type of disadvantage is that the circuit having finite gain and because of which it produces error in the output signal. So these are the disadvantages offered by the A to D converter when it is of single slope or single RAM type. This disadvantage can be overcome by modifying the circuit or by modifying the block diagram and therefore the dual slope A to D converter comes into picture. So I hope you understand this topic of single slope A to D converter which is also called as single RAM or single slope integrating A to D converter. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.